Just when we think Tasmania couldn't get any better. It does. Tasmania, a land of world heritage wilderness, dense rainforests, incredibly tall trees, majestical waterfalls, pristine beaches, rugged mountains, penguins, wombats, and the elusive Tasmanian devil. And we still haven't seen a Tassie devil. This week we leave Strawn and head for the mountains. We see beautiful scenery, visit waterfalls, do one of our favourite hikes ever, and stay at this amazing free camp. Seriously, does it get any better? Morning friends, today we have come to the People's Park in Strawn. We're going for a walk to Hogarth Falls. Now we have heard that this is a great place to see a platypus. However, platypuses are one of those animals that tend to come out at dawn and dusk. It's currently 10 to midday. <laughs> yeah. What happened this morning, Nige? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe six hours ago we'd have half a chance. <laughs> I couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> I'm still recovering from this. Yeah, Nigel's recovering. We had a beautiful walk through the rainforest. Nigel hugged a fern. <laughs> fern hugger. And I climbed to the top of the waterfall. We did not, however, see a platypus. This section of road is known as the 99 Bends. We thought it was more like 999, but the scenery around every bend was spectacular. We are just passing through the town of Queenstown. We actually came here to ride the uh, West Coast Wilderness Railway. The, the railway does go all the way from here to Strawn. Currently the railway is under a whole lot of refurbishment so the train is just running from Queenstown to the first stop which is called Lynchford. It doesn't even really go into the wilderness. So we stopped and took some footage of the train which is pretty cool. I mean it will be well cool to yeah actually take the train through the wilderness. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, and with the old, um, you know, the proper choo-choo, the proper steam engine. Yeah, choo <laughs> But doesn't even have a steam engine at the moment. I, I think it would be really cool to do with the steam engine and running the whole way, but... Yeah, yeah, sure. And we've decided to push on. This afternoon we're going to head up to Horsetail Falls. Now, I don't think this is actually going to be a very impressive waterfall because it's the height of summer and it says that it slows to a trickle, but I think the actual walk itself, the trail, is going to be quite interesting. This is the path. It's like a boardwalk. I wonder what they had before this boardwalk was here. I guess previously you'd be scurrying along here. Yeah, I guess. <coughs> it's quite cool. The views are incredible. So when we were coming along the road there, we could see people walking along here. And waterfall's not really happening. Friends of ours visited six days later, and this is what it looked like. We got back on the road for more bends and more epic scenery. We have just arrived at our third waterfall for the day. This is Nelson Falls supposed to be very beautiful. It's a 20 minute easy walk according to the signboard. Oh, I need to see a platypus. A little boardwalk here where you can sit down and have a look at the creek. I'm still on the hunt for a platypus today. 
Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so nice in here. Head on the ball. I'm not getting under this boardwalk. We came to a fork, so as usual, we're going left for adventure. We can start seeing the waterfall through the trees. Oh, it looks beautiful. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's very nice. Oh, my God. And there's nobody here. Yes, sir. Oh, only one lady. Oh, look at that. They're pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That's pretty. So beautiful. Okay, so yeah, my turn to take a walk out onto the rocks. Yeah, that's nice. It's beautiful out there. Yeah, it's gorgeous waterfall, isn't mm, it? It really is. Then it was time to find a camp, so we headed off road and look what we found. Uh, well, it's the end of another wonderful in Tasmania night. Yep, yeah, cracking day. And here's this uh, wild camp. No, it's actually an official camp. Oh, it's camp an official one, yeah. but it's yeah, okay. It's pretty wild, though. Pretty wild, though. We are at the, what is it, King William? Lake King William. Lake King William campsite. Let's show you around. It's going to be really cold Old tonight. King Winchless, let's stand there. And there's a bit of bad news. <laughs> What's that? We don't have enough fuel to run the heater. Oh dear. We only realised that when we got here. I know. <coughs> so, yeah, it's already quite chilly. It's going to get down to four degrees tonight. Summer in Tasmania. But look at this campsite. How good's this? It's amazing. It's free. Well, we don't know yeah. what bird this is. That's the one I was talking about the other day. He sounded like a magpie. Yeah, he does. Well, the, I thought the, he sounded the, like a cockatoo. He the, said... the, the, chick, the chick was, you know, got, uh, warbling like a magpie. There's a beak on that thing. I know, it's massive. That's why I'm staying in the van. <laughs> It flew down towards the door and I was scared. Good job, Nige. You betcha. So colourful. And Papa Dums. Mm. So good. Good morning, friends. We're heading further along the Gordon River Road today. We've got a couple of adventures planned for the next couple of days. And we're also going to hike the needles. Oh my god. Here we go. We're going to hike up that. Isn't that majestical? so majestical. Yeah, and then with an aim to get a aerial view of that range over there. Beautiful. It's very, very dolom, dolomitish. It dolom really is, dolom isn't dolom it? Dolomitish. Dolomiti. Dolomiti-ish. We are at the <clears throat> highest point on the road, 651 metres. So the trail Unlike most Tasmanian trails we've been on so far, it's not well signposted and uh, not a very clear track. It's just a rough track. The needles will, will severe but, hazards. This means you are not protected from natural hazards. Cliffs, drop offs, rock, rough track conditions and extreme weather. Well, we've got a good weather forecast, which is uh, lasting through to Wednesday, so that's not going to be a problem. Today is Monday. Uh, and yeah, today then. Um, so yeah, watch out for falling rocks. So time check, it's 1 p.m. and we're just making a start up this trail now. So it's a two and a half kilometer round trip. So we've got to do 1.2 k's straight up this mountain. 
I like to um, keep a tab on who's up here. And yeah, we're signing in the logbook. And hopefully he's still on out. <laughs> the traverse. Look at that. Look mm. at that. <laughs> there we go. So here's the trail. Righty oh. It's really welcome to the jungle here. Yeah. It's almost like bush bashing. Crazy. It's going to be slow going. It's pretty tough going, hey? Well, it's not a garden path. That's all right. So we're um, <clears throat> through all the trees and it's opened up it's still very steep and rough and you do want to be wearing long pants because there's lots of plants and grasses long pants and cankles you have to keep stopping and looking at the view it's so good this is tough this is really tough I'm just about to the top. <laughs> Look at those dolomite looking needles above me there. Now I just still down below. Um, I think he's taking photos of some plants. There's the needles. Not far away at all. I'm looking out across that. How beautiful is that? How about me on for recovering from a lurgy? There's some up there. Uh, a hit. <laughs> yeah, so this is a false summit. Still got to keep going all the way up there. Well, I've made it not to the top, but to the plateau. Here amongst the needles. There's still a fair way to go up to that summit behind me. And I think it's worth it. We've come this far, so... I think we should go the whole way. Here comes Nigel, you can probably hear him puffing. How you doing? I'm pulling along. Yeah. yeah. Surrounded by spaceships. I can just see someone up on the summit there. See, we thought this rock here was the summit, but no, it's around there. You can see that fellow up there now. Still a long way to go. But how incredible. I, oh, I might cry. And here comes Nigel. So many beautiful flowers. All right, so there's the top. Whatever we turn. Scenery is just breathtaking. Wow, <laughs> this is nuts. It's just breathtaking, isn't it? Absolutely. Beautiful the higher you get. I know. Good colour. 
This is Tasmania, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is what we came for right here, isn't it? Absolutely. Millions of hectares of nothingness. Just beautiful wilderness. Yeah. These are uh, hands and knees. Almost through here. This is the sun orchid. And there's a sight. If I haven't seen one. Uh, finally made it. Oh. How you going, old girl? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. <sighs> made it. Well done. Tough but awesome. And as you look out there, you can, you can Good views of Lake Gordon. Look at all those native bees though. Yeah, I don't know if the bees or ants or marsh flies are. Oh, they're native bees. Are they really? Yeah. Look at these little flying things. We've made it to the top. <laughs> that was one hell of a climb. I'm so glad we made it all the way. Yeah, the rewards are, are there. Yeah, definitely. With full 360 degree views. It's just amazing. Wow, what a hike. The unfun part, particularly for Sue, is to come down, but... I'm just standing here in awe of these rocks. So we're back down in between the first few rock formations. These rocks totally look painted, but they're not. Uh, it's just a brilliant white rock. Uh, that's been a bloody good quad walk work out. Yeah. My legs are starting to shake. <laughs> what jelly. I know. And we've got the really steep bit to still go. <laughs> you going, Sue? I'm all right. I'm a little bit slow. Hang in there. My... Yeah, so just... Just want to keep our wits about us in this bit. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> ready to sit down, gotta be honest. My legs are starting to give way. But you know, it's great because you know, we, we kind of embrace the, uh, the unformed tracks like this. It shows up the fitness or you know, lack thereof. Uh, but we've had the rewards today with the most amazing views, incredible wildflowers. <laughs> so, yeah. native bees. It's just been beautiful. And we're signed off. Made it. Far out of Zeta Welcome site. We've been on the go for almost four hours. Welcome back to the van. Yes. Where's that lily? Get that kettle on. Wow, that hike up the needles. What can I say? That was incredible. One of the best hikes we've ever done, Nige, I think. Yeah. I'm sure you'd it agree. Is. Yeah, it was um, yeah, just stunning scenery. Maybe a handful of people. It's a bit of a goat track, but um, 
with the, you get the rewards, you know, surrounded by hundreds of people and... Yeah, and that's kind of what I really expected more, I think, for Tassie hikes, was, you know, that real wilderness experience and rugged and rocky and a lot more challenging, the terrain. It was pretty brutal coming down though, I must say, with my Ross River fever stricken body. In particular, my knee, I really struggled on the way down because it's quite steep and steps are very uneven. But um, yeah, it's a, look, it was worth it. It was a bit tricky because there were two down. false summits. Two gnarly sections from my mind were at the very start. This first section and the last section. Yeah. They got real steep and mm. kind of almost on your hands. My legs were a bit wobbly by the end of it. <laughs> we're now making our way a little bit further down Gordon River Road. We're heading for a free camp at Ted's Beach. Doesn't get much better than this to wake up to. Six o'clock, Ted's Beach. The mist, steam on the lake. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to check out the hardest hike we've done in a long time, go check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.